Thanks for joining me. If you liked last week's ladder flow, you're going to love this one. So we're going to add them just a little bit, do a second flow, both from our knees and then from standing, taking all the time that you need to to find that length and that space in your body to feel good. So less longer holds, more of that nice stretchy goodness. So get into that place that feels good, that you're creating length in the body, creating space along the spine and the joints and allowing yourself to breathe deeply. So we're gonna definitely need our blocks where you might want your strap nearby and definitely some things at the end to make Shavasana more than comfortable. So allow you to just relax, release from all the work that we do today. We're gonna start recline. So take any position you'd like. You could be on your blocks, you can be just on your back, but take some time to settle in onto your back. Once you're there, allow yourself to settle in. Take a nice full inhale. And let it go. Allowing yourself to arrive into the space, onto your mats, and into your body. Connecting with the sounds, the smells, temperature of the air, just allowing yourself to become more and more present. Take a full inhale. Sigh it out. As you let that go, drop into that physical body. Notice how you're feeling today, scanning from head to toe, shoulders to fingers, acknowledging any areas of tightness, tension, areas that could create a little bit more space and length. And again, going through this full body flow today, going into the body, creating more space and length wherever you can. I mean, that be your intention, creating space and length in the body. So just kind of notice right now what might need that little extra attention when we get to that space in our bodies. Take another full inhale. And let it go. Tune inward. Checking in with that mental side, that emotional side of the body. Notice where your thoughts are, what emotions might be attached to those thoughts. And notice where you can find more space between those thoughts. Notice where you can find more length of where you're not thinking and to where you're really dropping into that present moment of your body, of this space and time. Acknowledge the thoughts as they come and go, but maybe trying to find that more time, that more space between those thoughts dropping into the mind. Take a full inhale and let it go. Start to lengthen and deepen your breath. Maybe start to engage that ujjayi pranayama, that slight narrowing in the back of the throat. And as you start to drop deeper into that breath, start to imagine or draw that intention of space and length. What that means to you, maybe forming an image in your mind's eye. Having that be your guide for your intention of your practice today. And can you find more space and length in your breath? Just taking a few more rounds of deep breath, all the way from belly, ribs, chest, and then back out chest, ribs, belly. Letting that intention settle in. And then we'll set that intention with that sound of OM or a sigh of the breath. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Exhale fully. Inhale. Then on your next inhale, start to draw those knees into your chest. If you're on blocks, come off of them all the way onto your back. 
And once those knees are into your chest, as you inhale, point your toes. And as you exhale, flex your feet, push through the heels. So doing that a couple times, getting into the ankles and the feet. Drawing those knees in close. And then on your next inhale, place your left foot on the floor. Take your right leg up to the sky and hands just behind the thigh. Just take a couple breaths here, wrapping those hands around the back of the thigh and then drawing the leg away from you to get a little stretch into the neck. And again, maybe point and flex through the feet, finding that nice rhythm of breath and movement. Next, inhale, take that right ankle over your left knee. And as you inhale, draw the knee into the chest. Give that left leg a little hug, getting into the outer hip a little bit. Maybe rock from side to side. Again, just creating length and space in the body. Just kind of touching in here, warming up before we start moving into our flow. On your exhale, go ahead and release both feet back to the floor. On your next inhale, take that left leg up to the sky, wrap your hands behind that thigh, and then press the thigh into the hands to find that little stretch along the neck and the upper back. And then point and flex through the foot again. Again, really just drawing in those deep breaths, focusing on how the body's feeling right now. And then taking that left ankle over the right knee. And as you inhale, start to draw those knees in toward the chest and maybe rock a little bit from side to side. Just kind of noticing how that outer hip, the glutes, and the low back feel. And on your next exhale, go ahead and release both feet back to the floor. Knees are bent, reach those hands toward those feet. And as you inhale, lengthen that tailbone toward the floor. So create that little arch in the low back. And as you exhale, press that low back down, lift the tailbone, finding that little flatness in the back. Inhale, tailbone down, tilting the pelvis. Exhale, rounding into that low back. Take a couple more rounds there, nice and easy, just noticing where you can create length in the low back on those inhales. And where you can really engage through that front body on the exhales. The next time you get to that exhale position with the tailbone lifting, press into the feet, lift those hips up on your inhale. Stay there as you exhale, engage through the glutes, press through the heels, draw those heels back, just kind of find some engagement. And then as you exhale, lower down. On your inhale, take those feet as wide as your mat. And then on your exhale, drop both knees to the left. As you inhale, reach the arms back up overhead. Find length on that right side. Stay to exhale. And as you inhale, go all the way over to the right side. Stay there as you exhale. Take another inhale, really reach through the arms. Find that length on the left side. Stay to exhale. And then on your own time, inhaling and exhaling, drop those knees from side to side, stay where you might need to, taking a couple more rounds of these windshield wipers, getting into where your body feels you need it. Continue to develop that breath, that breath and movement matching. And then the next time you have both knees over to your left side, Roll all the way over onto that left side. Pause there. Going in through some little mobility for the upper back. On your inhale, take that right arm, open it up to the right, finding a little twist, and then exhale back to the left. And again, inhale, opening, finding that movement. Exhale back over. This time to hold, inhale, open. Maybe take that left hand to the top thigh, press down. Open the chest, press the shoulders down as you take that top hip, roll it away from your top shoulder. Just finding space here in the chest, some length in the spine. And then as you exhale, draw those arm, that right arm back over to the left. Take that right hand to the right 
chin and then ankle and then draw that right knee toward the end of your mat. Find that quad stretch. If it's comfortable in your body, roll the right shoulder back, maybe lean back a bit. And then exhale, release that. Bring yourself all the way back up to center. Press the feet down into the mat. Press your hands down by your feet. And as you inhale, lengthen that tailbone toward the floor. As you exhale, low back toward the floor, tailbone lifts, hips lift. Pause there for another inhale. And then as you exhale, all the way back down. Bring yourself all the way over onto your right side. And then on your next inhale, take that left arm, open it up to the left. And then as you exhale, back to the right. Again, inhale, coming all the way open, finding that openness through the chest. Exhale back to the right. This time to hold, inhale, open. Right hand maybe touches that top thigh. Press the shoulders down as you lift up through the chest. And then lengthen that top hip away from your top shoulder. Another full breath here. Stay to exhale. As you inhale, come all the way back over to that right side. Left hand grabs that left shin or ankle and draw the left knee to the end of your mat. Rolling the shoulder open, press the chest forward, maybe lean back a little bit for a long stretch along that front thigh and quad. And then as you exhale, go ahead and release that. You're on your right side. Go ahead and press yourself up all the way to seated. Once you've come up to seated, cross that right shin in front of your left shin, and then take a full inhale, reach those arms up. And as you exhale, take the arms forward. As you inhale, pull the heart forward, find that little cow. And as you exhale, press the hands round, round into caps. Take that a couple more times, inhale, pull forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, pull forward, and then as you exhale, keep that length and lengthen forward any little bit. So heart's coming forward, hips drawing back, press the knees down, get into those outer hips. Exhale. As you inhale, lift up, and then exhale, walk your hands all the way over to the left. Once they've gone all the way over to the left, press that left hand down, and then as you inhale, open the right arm up. Exhale, bring that right arm down. Inhale, right arm up, or maybe lean it back. Exhale, bring it down. One more time, inhale, open. And exhale down. As you inhale, come back to center. Exhale there. On your inhale, walk the hands back all the way behind you. Draw your knees up. So you press your feet into the floor and then lift those hips. Good, take another inhale, lift the hips higher, roll the head back if it's okay. And as you exhale, release it back down. Crossing that left shin in front of the right. Inhale is gonna take those arms up. As you exhale, bring those hands forward. And again, inhale, pull the heart forward, send the hips back. Exhale, round chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Stay with that length. And as you exhale, lean forward any little bit. Press knees down. Pull that heart forward. Get into those hips. Exhale here. As you inhale, lift again. And as you exhale, walk those hands all the way over toward the right. Good, press into that right hand and then inhale, open the left arm. And then exhale, bring it all the way down. Inhale, open. Exhale, down. Good, one more time, inhale. And then exhale. As you inhale, walk those hands back to center. Exhale there. As you inhale, walk those hands all the way back behind you. Plant the feet. Lift those hips on your next inhale. Stay to exhale. And then inhale, hips down. Exhale, roll yourself forward onto those hands and knees. 
setting yourself up, have those blocks handy for when you need them, any padding under your knees. I'm gonna do a couple rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. And then on your next inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift those hips, spine downward facing dog. Just take a few moments, pedal the feet, shift the hips, check in here. Acknowledging anything that you need to find a little bit more length on. Maybe shifting those hips, creating length in the sideways. Maybe bending deeply into both knees, finding that length in the front of the body. Continue to breathe, allowing that breath and movement to match. And adding on here, as you inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, find downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. One more time, inhale, plank. And exhale, dog. Heading into that first flow. Inhale, takes that right leg up to the sky. Exhale, heel to bum, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose, step that foot forward. Let that back knee come to the ground. And as you inhale, sweep those arms up, find that low lunge. Exhale, press the palms together, reach those hands to the back, really opening that front body, finding space here. Inhale, reaches the arms up. And as you exhale, lean forward, reach the arms back. Palms face down, squeeze shoulder blades together like you're doing locust over that front leg. And then on your next inhale, sweep those arms back up. And then as you exhale, bring the hands down in front of that front foot or by the front foot, and then shift the hips back. So you might need your blocks. Getting into that front hamstring moment. Take an inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, bend into that front knee. Exhale, left hand stays to block your floor, right arm reaches up. Good, big inhale, open the chest. And then if it's okay, exhale, top arm overhead, really arch through the spine, find that length from wrist to armpit. Inhale is gonna take that arm all the way back up. Exhale is going to circle it all the way to the ground. From here, we're going to pivot into a side plank. So you're going to rotate your left toes off the mat. That right leg is going to sweep all the way back. Plant the right foot, take that right arm up. And then exhale once again, overhead. Good, big inhale. Exhale. Good, as you inhale, take that top arm up. Exhale, circle that hand down. Come onto the left knee. Both hands on blocks or on floor. Take that right leg lifted up to the sky. Good. Take an inhale there. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale is going to lengthen it back out. Exhale, knee to the ground. Press down into those hands as you inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Reach through the toes, reach through the hands. Big inhale, locust. As you exhale, slide those elbows forward, find sphinx, ground the toes. Take an inhale, pull the heart forward. As you exhale, slide the hands back underneath the shoulders. Keep the toes grounded as you inhale. Pull the heart forward for a little baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, press back knees. Hips to heels, find child's pose for a couple breaths. Notice how that feels in the body. Continue to reach and find length in the spine. Lengthen those arms. Another full breath. Exhale. Inhale, reach through those arms. Exhale, shift the weight forward. Lift those hips. Find downward facing dog. Exhale, fully here. Inhale, left leg reaches to the sky. 
Exhale, heel to bum, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose. Step that foot forward. Back knee is going to come down. As you inhale, sweep those arms up. Find that low lunge. As you exhale, press palms, reach them toward the back of your head. Good. Another squeeze those elbows up. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale is going to sweep the arms up. Exhale, reaches the arms back, palms face down, and then draw the shoulder blades together. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up again. And then as you exhale, hands to blocks or floor. And then inhale, shift the hips back, straighten that front leg. Stay here for a breath, getting into that front hamstring. Another inhale. And then as you exhale, bend into the knee. Right hand to block your floor, left arm's going to reach, finding that twist. If it feels okay, take that top arm, reach it overhead, finding that length, arch through the spine. Take another inhale. Exhale. Inhale, top arm's going to reach. Exhale, circle it all the way down. From here, we're going to pivot onto that Right leg, take that left leg, sweep it all the way to the back, finding that side plank. Press the hips forward, take that left arm to the sky, and then left arm overhead again. Good. Roll the shoulders back, finding openness, front body, side body. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale is going to circle that top hand all the way back down to blocks or floor. Shift and pivot, and so you're going to take that left leg, reach it to the sky. Good. Take an inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale brings that knee back to the ground. Exhaling, shift the weight forward. Take an inhale, engage the core. And then exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Again, inhale, find locust, reach those arms back, lift the toes. As you exhale, slide the elbows forward for space. Press down as you inhale, pull the heart forward, ground the toes. And then as you exhale, draw those hands underneath the shoulders. Press down, inhale, pull the heart forward, squeeze shoulder blades, cobra. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes. Press it back, child's pose. Take a moment in child's pose. Notice the breath. Create length in the spine and the sideways. Create length and depth in your breath. Exhale fully. Second round from our feet or continue from knees. Inhale, shifts you forward. Exhale, lift those hips down, we're done. As you inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, heel to bum, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose, step it forward. Back knee up or down, inhale, takes those arms up. Exhale, palms press, reach those arms up, really opening the front body. Exhale. Inhale is going to reach the arms up. Exhale, reach the arms back, maybe even interlink the hands behind the back and reach the heart forward as you reach the arms back. Good, big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale and unlock the hands, reach the arms. And then as you exhale, hands to blocks or floor. On your next inhale, straighten that front leg. Then exhale, either press down into the heel, draw the toes back, or keep the toes grounded. Take another breath here. Kind of notice what happens when you move the hips back and forth. Good. This is a nice, great stretch here. One more inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, bend back into that knee. Press the left hand to block your floor. Right arm's going to reach up. Find that twist. Maybe top arm reaches overhead. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, top arm's gonna come all the way down to the ground. 
Coming into that side plank, so ground that left hand, back knee can drop, or take that right leg, sweep it back to meet left leg, and find your side plank. Good, press down, reach up, top arm's gonna come overhead. Good, another big inhale. As you exhale, take that right arm all the way to the ground, find plank. Good, ground through the left toes. Right leg lifts on your inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose, stay in plank. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, in. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, ground the toes. Inhale, in plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Inhale, find locus. Exhale into sphinx. Inhale, pull the heart forward, sphinx. As you exhale, find cobra. Inhale, sweet shoulder blades, lift the chest. And then exhale, hips back, either child's pose or downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths there, finding your length, finding your space to be. Creating space and length, not only in the body, but in the breath, in the mind. Second side, exhale fully. On your next inhale, that left leg reaches to the sky. Exhale, heel to bum. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose, step it forward. Back knee up or down. Inhale is going to sweep those arms up. Exhale, press the palms together, and as you inhale, lean it back, opening up as you exhale, bend a bit deeper. Inhale is going to sweep the arms up. Exhale, reach the arms back, maybe interlink the fingers, lengthen the spine, reach the arms, hover over that front leg. Exhale. As you inhale, sweep those arms back up, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, hands all the way to the floor, blocks or floor, and then straighten that front leg. Take an inhale there. Exhale, either pressing toes down or press into the heel, draw toes back. And then maybe play with it another breath, drawing the hips away from the front and then toward the front, really getting into that front hamstring. Exhale here. Inhale is going to bend you into that front knee. Right hand stays to block or floor. Left arm is going to reach to the side for that side angle, pose, or sorry, for the twist. And then take that top arm overhead. Press down, lift up, open the body. Exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Exhale, circle it down to the ground. Preparing for that side plank hand on block or floor. Press down and then slide that left foot to meet the right. Lift the hips, engage to the core, top arm reaches. And then maybe top arm reaches overhead, really finding that length and strength. Big inhale, exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Exhale, circle it all the way down, find plank. Good, take an inhale, lift and hover that left leg. Exhale, draw knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, ground down through the feet. Inhale and plank. Exhale, lower knees or toes all the way down. Inhale, find locust. As you exhale, find sphinx. Inhale, pull the heart forward, ground those toes. Exhale, find your cobra. Maybe press down to the tops of the feet, roll the shoulders back, straighten arms, straighten legs. Stop. And then exhale, press it back, either child's pose or downward dog. Take a breath and downward dog if you're there. And then exhale, bring yourself to child's pose. Finding that length and space in the body. 
Finding that length in your breath. Notice how the body's feeling. As you inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, shift the weight forward, hands and knees. You might still have that padding underneath you, but you're gonna step your right foot forward, left foot forward, come into a low squat, that little yogi squat. So heels can be on blanket, they can be on the floor. Rocking a little bit here, malasana. And then just finding a little twist, press that right elbow into the right knee. Resist the right knee. Take your left hand to your left shoulder and then open toward that left leg. Take another inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, bring both hands back to center. Exhale here. Press that left shoulder into the left knee. Right hand to right shoulder. Open the chest toward that right leg. I'm gonna take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale comes back to center. As you exhale, plant the hand, step it back, downward facing dog. Good. Take an inhale there. And exhale. Good. Second flow here. Inhale takes that right leg up to the sky. Exhale, heels bump, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to notes. Step that foot forward. Take the back knee down. So the back knee is down here. Inhale, sweeps those arms up. Find that low lunge. And this time, exhale, bring the hands behind the back and remove the fingers. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Maybe reach arms back, your choice. Exhale. As you inhale, sweep the arms up. And then as you exhale from this warrior two, so right arm's gonna come forward, you're gonna pivot onto the back knee, pivot it so you're open to the long end of your mat, and then bend into that front knee. And warrior two, awesome. Take a couple of breaths, just kind of notice the difference in that front inner thigh with your knee down. And then reverse your warrior, take that back hand to your back leg, reach your back, keep bending into the front knee. Get a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, comes back to warrior two. And as you exhale, find the side angle, so it can be elbow to thigh. But maybe because you're close to the ground, that hand comes to the block of the floor. Open the chest, take that top arm thigh, and then take that top arm overhead, feeling that length from wrist to hip. Good, keep bending into the knee. Exhale. Good, as you inhale, come back, warrior two. Coming to the back of your mat, take that left hand, reach it to the back of your mat, lift your right leg, and find a little half moon. Yeah. Good, lean it back, good, breathe. Maybe bend that top knee, find your ankle to find a little quad stretch, or just stay. Good, another big inhale. Exhale. Good, as you inhale, straighten that top leg, reach it up. Exhale, ground the foot, press yourself back up. Point the toes to the top of your mat for triangle. Take your left hip to the back of your mat. And then that right hand either comes to the shin, the block, the floor, top arm reaches, so triangle pose. Get another big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, presses yourself. As you exhale, take the toes, turn to the long end of your mat. Press into that pinky edge of your foot. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, sit the hips back as you reach the arms forward. So lengthen the chest forward as much as you can. Hips are going to stack over that back knee. And then drop your chest. You're feeling a big inner stretch, inner thigh stretch on that right leg. Good. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Pivot toward your right foot, bending into that knee. Come all the way front. And then step it back, downward facing dog. Good, nice full inhale. And exhale. Inhale, brings you forward plank. Exhale, lower knees or toes. Inhale, find locus. 
Exhale into sphinx. Ground those toes as you pull the heart forward on that big inhale. As you exhale, find your cobra or a dog. Inhale, shoulders back, toes down. And then exhale, hips back, find child's pose. Good. Take a full breath in child's pose. Notice that right side and left side difference. Creating more space in the body. Exhale fully. Second side. Inhale brings you forward. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg reaches to the sky. Exhale, heel to bum, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose, step it forward. Back knee down. Inhale, it's going to sweep those arms up. Exhale, press the palms, or sorry, reach the arms back behind you, interlink the fingers. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, maybe extend arms. Exhale. Inhale, is going to sweep those arms up. And as you exhale, finding that warrior two, pivot on the back knee, bend into the front knee, reach the arms forward and back for warrior two. And really bending into that front knee, finding that inner groin stretch. Press into the back leg. And then inhale, reverse your warrior. Back hand reaches down to that back leg. Lean it back, find length in the left side. Keep bending into that front knee. Inhale. Inhale comes back, warrior two. And then exhale, side angle pose. So either elbow to knee, or maybe that hand slides down inside, top arm reaches, and then reach it overhead, finding that leg, roll the shoulders back opening up the side waist. Exhale fully. Inhale presses you all the way back up warrior two. And then going to the back of your mat, exhale, lean into that right hand, let the right hand touch the ground, and then lift the left leg. Get a little balance. Press the hips forward, top arm either reaches or grabs that top leg, finding the ankle, and then find a little stretch through the front body. Take another breath. Releasing that grip, reach it up. As you exhale, ground down into that left leg. Press yourself up. Turn the toes to the top of your mat. And then take your right hip, shift it to the back of your mat. Reach that left arm forward, coming into triangle pose. So a nice stretch on the outer hip, maybe that inner thigh of the left leg. Big inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, press yourself up. Exhale, toes to the long end of your mat. I'm just gonna switch myself around here. You're here and then you're going to reach the arms forward. Good, lengthen forward so that your back knees over your back hip or under your back hip, and then drop the chest down. So you're finding that inner thigh stretch on that left leg. Toes point the same direction as the long end of your mat. A big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, walk those hands underneath your mat, underneath your hands, and then walk yourself back toward the left toes. Once you're at those left toes, step it back, downward facing dog. A nice big inhale. Exhale. Inhale brings you forward plank. Exhale, lower knees or toes. As you inhale, find your locus. Exhale into sphinx. Ground the toes, inhale here, heart forward. Exhale, finding either cobra or upward dog. As you inhale, roll it up. As you exhale, find child's or downward dog. Take a nice full in here. Find length from wrist to hip. Exhale, allow to find space through the chest. One more inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, find space in the mind. 
Second round. Inhale, bring yourself forward. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, heel to bone. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose. Step it forward. Back knee can stay down or keep it up. Reach those arms up. Exhale, hands behind the back and elate the fingers. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Maybe reach those hands back. Find that openness in the front body. Exhale here. Inhale is going to reach those arms up. And as you exhale, drop the back heel. Find warrior two on the right. Good. Settle and find your stance. Find that inner groin stretch. And then on your next inhale, reverse your warrior. Find that right side side stretch. Keep bending into the knee. As you inhale, come back warrior two. Exhale, find side angle, either elbow to thigh, hand to block or floor. Top arm's gonna reach, roll the shoulder back, and then reach that top arm overhead. A big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, top arm's gonna reach. Exhale, looking down. Top hand, the top hip, lean forward, coming to that half moon, take that back foot, step it halfway in. Lean into a block or the floor and lift the back leg for half moon. Roll the shoulders back. And then maybe bend that top leg. Find that ankle. Good. Take another inhale. Exhale. Release the grip if you have it. As you inhale, slowly bend into that front knee. Step the back leg back. Stand into both legs, straighten that front leg. And then as you exhale, right arm reaches to the right leg, coming into tropical pose. Hands of block, shin, or floor. Finding that nice little stretch, outer hip, inner thigh. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, press down, lift the chest. And as you exhale, turn both toes to the long end of your mat, hands to your hips, take an inhale. And as you exhale, forward fold. Hands come down to blocks or floor, and then drop that head down, lift the hips, press into the outer edges of your feet. A big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull the heart forward. As you exhale, bend into the knees, walk yourself all the way back to that right foot. Press into the hand, step it back, downward dog. Inhale, it's going to bring you forward plank. Exhale, lower knees or toes. Inhale, locust. Exhale, find sinks. Inhale, press down to lift up and sinks. Exhale, find cobra or upward dog. Inhale, lift. Exhale, either child's pose or downward facing dog. Take a breath. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, find openness in the chest. If you're in child's pose, find dog. Exhale fully. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Last round here. Exhale, heel to bum. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose. Step it forward. Back knee up or down as you inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale here. Inhale, hands behind back and the fingers. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Maybe reach arms back. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale is going to sweep the arms up. As you exhale, find warrior two. Ground that back heel, opening yourself up. Good. Ground down. Pull those heels toward one another to find that engagement, that stretch on the inner thighs. On your next inhale, reverse the warrior. Top arm reaches back. Keep bending into the front knee to find length on that left side. Inhale comes back, warrior two. Exhale, find side angle pose, either elbow to thigh, hand to block or floor. Really open the chest on your inhale. And then exhale, take that top arm overhead. Find that length. 
Engage through the legs. And then inhale, top arm's gonna reach. Exhale, hand to hip, look down. Back leg steps in as you lean into that left leg and lift the right leg. Half moon. Breathe into it, maybe find that top foot. Find that little opening through the front body, the top leg. Finding your balance, don't forget to breathe. Releasing that grip on your inhale. As you exhale, bend into the knees, step that foot back. On your inhale, straighten both legs, reach those arms up. And then as you exhale, find triangle pose. Right hip back, left hip draws under, right arm reaches. Good, maybe lean it back, pressing into those legs. Exhale. As you inhale, press down, reach up. Exhale, hands to your hips, turn the le your legs to the long end of your mat. And maybe hands come behind your back and you interlink your fingers or keep them to your hips. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lengthen forward halfway. If your hands are interlinked, reach them back, draw the shoulder blades back, press into the feet, and then lean forward any little bit. So a nice shoulder stretch as well as that inner thigh stretch. Good, continue to breathe. See if you can draw space between your shoulders and your ears. Create length and space in the neck. Exhale fully. Inhale, release the grip, bring those hands all the way to the floor. Take an inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. As you exhale, bend the knees, walk yourself back to the left foot and step it back down, root jog. Last round of flow here. Inhale, bring yourself forward for that vinyasa. Exhale, lower. Inhale, locust. Exhale, sphinx. Take an inhale and sphinx. Exhale, either cobra or upward dog. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, down dog or child's pose. Find length, press down, lift up. Exhale. If you're in downward dog, find child's pose. Take a couple deep breaths here. One more big inhale. And exhale. As you inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, roll yourself forward. Come all the way down onto your back. Bring a block if you'd like. Bring a strap if you'd like. Come all the way down, knees are bent. And this is where you have the option, you can place a block under your hips if you just wanna feel the stretch in the front body. Or we're gonna do an active bridge. Press down into those feet, press down into the hands. Inhale, lifts the hips. Exhale, wind those shoulders underneath, interlink the fingers, press those pinkies toward the mat. Press into the heels, lift the hips, slowing that breath down. Finding openness in the front body, that engagement in the back body. Take one more big inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, release the grip. Exhale, slowly lower those hips. Pausing there. And again, this is where you can use your strap if you want, or you can just grab onto the leg. Take that right knee into the chest and take that right leg up to the sky. If you're using the strap around the ball of the foot, push up. If you're just using your arms, hands behind the thighs, we did at the beginning. And then if it feels okay, which it probably should, left leg goes straight. That left leg is just as active as the right. And then resisting that strap on the foot to find that stretch along the back of the leg. Try to relax the shoulders and jaw. Continue to find that ujjayi pranayama, that slight narrowing of the back of the throat. 
And then you can either stay straight up or maybe take that leg out to the right. Keep that left hip on the ground, getting that inner thigh stretch for a couple breaths. Staying wherever feels good to you. And taking that right leg back up to the sky, left hand to the leg, and then draw that leg just a little bit across the body. Get into that outer hip. Really make the leg as straight as possible, feeling that outer hip. Reach the right arm out to the right, and then draw that right leg all the way across your body. Keeping it straight or bending it if that's too much to keep it straight. Roll that top hip away from top shoulder. If your top leg is straight, go ahead and bend it, finding a nice little twist. And as you inhale, come back to center. Both feet on the floor, bring those hips back to center, pause there for a moment. Second side, taking that left leg up to the sky. Finding that back of the leg here, right leg goes long if you're okay through the mid back and low back. Exhale, take that left leg out to the left if that feels good for you, getting that inner thigh stretch. Both legs nice and active. Imagine both heels drawing away from one another. Again, stay in any of these positions that feel good. Taking that left leg up and then across the body just a little bit, getting into that outer hip. Really make the legs super straight. It's gonna really get into that IT band and that little muscle at the top of your hip. And then continue taking that left leg all the way across your body as you reach the left arm to the left and either keep the leg straight, getting a little bit more into that outer hip or bending the knee. So your choice where you wanna be here. Take a couple breaths. And then if your leg is straight, go ahead and bend it, finding a twist. Drawing that top hip away from the top shoulder to find length in the sideways to allow more rotation in the spine. Exhale fully. Inhale, draw both knees back up to the ceiling. Bring yourself back onto your mat. Take any props you need to to find comfort. Maybe give those knees a little hug. Maybe a little happy baby before you find Shavasana. But when you're ready, use any props you need to. Prop yourself up under your knees, under your head. Covering your eyes if that's available to you. Just allowing yourself to take up space here. Maybe take the arms out a little bit wider than normal, the legs a little wider. Let's take three deep cleansing breaths. So really inhaling, filling up all that space from your hip bones to your collarbones, and then sighing it out. Just let everything drop and be heavy. Again, inhaling, sighing it out, growing heavy. One more time, fill up all that space in the torso, and then emptying it out. Let your breathing come back to normal. Scan through the body. Notice where you've created a little bit more space, a little bit more length. Notice how it feels to lay here after practice. 
and compare it to beginning a practice. Acknowledging the work, the effort, and the time that you've given yourself today. Allowing yourself to continue to create length and space here in the body and the mind as you take rest. I'll bring you out of Shavasana with the sound of my voice.
to lengthen and deepen your breath. As you do, acknowledge if you need to stay here for a few more moments. Take all the time you need in Shavasana. Otherwise, on your next inhale, start to bring some movement into the fingers and toes, the wrists and ankles, moving through the arms and legs. And maybe giving yourself a long stretch on your next inhale, reach the arms back, slide the feet together, finding that length in the front body. And as you exhale, start to bend the knees. Either windshield wiper the legs or hug the knees in, whatever's going to feel best for your body. When you're ready, roll yourself all the way over to one side. And just pause there, curling yourself up into a little ball, acknowledging the shifts and changes from this practice both physically and mentally. And then as you're ready, mindfully press yourself up, come all the way up to a seated position. Once you've found that comfortable seat, allow your eyes to close. Hands either resting on your thighs or at your heart center, palms pressing. Allow yourself to arrive into the space, onto your mat and into your body. Connecting again with your surroundings. Taking a moment, offering up some gratitude for taking time for yourself today to create length and space in the body, the mind. And taking this practice with you off your mat into your evening ahead. We'll seal the practice in with that sigh of the breath or an ohm. Exhale fully here. Inhale. Take a moment. Think of one thing in your life you truly are grateful for. Hold on to that image in your mind. As you raise your head. Thank you for being here. Drink lots of water. Each bed for some luck. Namaste.